my anesthetic had worn off. I'm feeling every bit of pain. I was slowly drifting away. The room was getting dark. The nurse came running out. We think he's not going to make it. Growing up, I was just always an active, cocky kid. I was a professional junior tennis player. I played throughout the world. I wanted to go abroad to specialize with tennis. But my dad's a doctor, my sister's also a physician. And I decided to just stay home and do my medical career here. I love running in little communities. It's nice seeing people in their daily activities. You see a lot of kids playing around, hand-me-down soccer balls. They just think this is life, you know? But it's very raw, it's very real, and I don't think Dublin exists on a facade at all. I come from a family of runners, so I was training for my first marathon the end of medical school. I had sharp shooting, a chest pain, and I lost 30 pounds. I was diagnosed with multi-drug resistant TB. The advice that I was getting from people who claim to be TB experts yeah. suggested that we do a lobectomy straight away. The yeah. lobe that's infected cut it out, and uh, we said no. Yeah. We were going to try and salvage it. I just thought, oh, it was another thing to do. We'll just take my six months of treatment, and I'll be fine. I took 23 tablets a day with IV medication in my heart. The side effects were getting worse. I got depression nausea and vomiting and feeling like you're about to faint almost every day. My skin started going into these big blisters, bursting with pus. I also had severe joint stiffness. Your joints lock up. Just to pee, it took me about 30 minutes to reach the bathroom. We spent nights uh, sitting in that lounge there, mulling over all the possibilities, basically wondering whether he was really going to get better and uh, listening to all the stories of success rather than failure. And then that, that's what gave us hope. After three years, one week, one day, I was cured. The majority of people think that TB only hits a certain group of people, very poverty-stricken, living in overcrowded areas. One third of the world today is infected with TB. As doctors and medical students, you're exposed to a big volume of sick patients. So if someone is collapsed on the floor, their job is to resuscitate them and bring them back to life. The doctor doesn't care about where the gloves are, where the masks are, where the aprons are. They're neglecting their own personal lives to help another person. Day to day, this is what a healthcare worker does. Don't sir? Keep up. Don't sir? That's why you're crying. Your chest is so bad. In the gear. It's a very small infection. It's not bad. Right? And uh, I don't think it's not TB or anything. The doctors are sure it's not TB. This is a global health problem. It's not a problem that's specific to South Africa. Until we learn to empathize, we're not going to develop the best tools, the best vaccines. We have to look at how we're going to protect future generations to come. And we need healthcare workers to protect themselves. A vaccine would be the answer. <laughs>